Hello everybody, it's me. I guess you still know me as the Hebrew Hammer, but now I'm no longer going by the Hebrew Hammer. I actually gotten rid of that name a long time ago. A lot of bad memories. No, um, yeah, I'm not 14. I'm almost 17 now, and I just believe it's time for me to move on, and I came up with a better name. So from now on, I'll probably be calling myself Bear Jubonk, and my Xbox Live Gamer tag is Roar Bear Jubonk. So anyways, I will be only posting this video as my only Modern Warfare 2 video because I completely and absolutely hate this game. This game is terrible in my opinion. It is a disgrace to Call of Duty 4 and it's an incredibly easy game to play. It takes no skill and it's just all about overpowered kill streaks. It's not a fun game in my opinion. So anyways, I normally I'm a rush happy player. I've always been a rush happy player in every game. I cannot camp because if I camp I get bored. However, in Modern Warfare 2 I've just learned that it's just enough is enough and I camped one game because I was originally a 1.9 like two weekends ago and now I'm a 1. Point, I was a 1.82 at this game. My kill death just dropped like a rock. I was just having some terrible luck. And now I'm like screw it, I'll just try it for one game, and I learned that if a decent player like myself actually camps, then it just completely ruins the game for everybody else. If I wanted to, I could have put a nuke up. I would have gone with the nuke and completely destroyed everybody, but instead I'm ruling Predator, Harrier, and Chopper Gunner. I know, overpowered. And this guy should have killed me, but for some odd reason it's not working. So I'm going to talk about my class setup right now. I'm rolling a uh, TAR-21, go Israeli assault rifles, um, with a noob tube, or grenade launcher, with danger close, one-man army, and I believe steady aim for the TAR. This is about the most overpowered thing I've ever seen. Forget about MP40 in World at War, because this just kind of kicks his ass, because I don't know about you, but unlimited noob tubes kind of sounds overpowered to me. Plus, I still have unlimited ammo for my assault rifle. So yes, Danger Close Pro with noob tubes is insanely overpowered. One Man Army instantly recovers all your ammo. One Man Army Pro does it even faster. Instead of 10 seconds waiting, you have 3 seconds waiting, and you also get your claymores back too. So at this point in time now, I already have my 11 kills. I'm in about half a round of the first half of a capture the flag game. I'm in a chopper gunner. This is this class any decent player should go two to one with this class. No. If you give someone this class that I'm using to someone who just joined this game, they will go even. This is how powerful this class is. This class is ridiculously overpowered. Danger Close Pro makes your kill streaks even more powerful. Danger Close Normal makes all explosives do more damage and have a bigger radius. As you saw earlier from the video, my claymore that was underneath me when I was on the second story of that building almost killed me from that high up. It's ridiculous how overpowered this is. It's, it's not fair for anyone else playing this game. Uh, essentially, if I wanted to, I could have made a nuke video. I, mean, I might make a nuke video if I ever decide to play Modern Warfare 2 again. But I'll get to why I don't like Modern Warfare 2 later, but... So anyways, yeah, this setup overpowered. Scrapyard, an amazing map for noob tubing, because it's just so easy to noob tube here for some reason. And I just, I'm sorry, if I ever do make Modern Warfare 2 video, I'll speed it up. Because, well, speed it up. Speed up the chopper gunner, because, you know, who needs to see me just holding the cursor down. So yeah, blah blah blah. Yeah, reason why I'm using the tar with this class there are three... The assault rifles in Modern Warfare 2 are overpowered beyond all belief. Except for the F2000, but that gun is, just sucks. Well, anyways, the reason why I'm using the TAR is because the TAR is a heavy assault rifle. And by that I mean, there are certain assault rifles I've noticed that do way more damage than the other. Some assault rifles are more focused on accuracy and some on damage. I'm sure a lot of you have realized the... Uh, well, I believe the, the um, ACR is an incredibly accurate gun and um, the scar can jiggle around like an old man well the tar does great damage and I'm very good with it so you know it makes it very easy to kill stuff and 
Camping with noob tubes. What more do I need to say? This is. I'm ashamed that I'm even uploading this, actually. I'm just gonna show you a good game. So, yeah. Reasons why I don't think Modern Warfare 2 is an amazing game. It's simply just the most frustrating thing I've ever experienced. Or simply. I don't know what it is, but this game can frustrate me beyond all belief. And it's not just me, I've seen all my friends, and we're normally calm, happy, joking. But when we play Modern Warfare 2, something just comes over us, we're just nasty and not fun. That guy should have died, but now we're halftime, switching sides. And in half a round, and half a game of Capture the Flag, I'm 28-1-1. One one. That is ridiculous. And at this point now, I don't want to stay camping, so I'm going to rush. So anyways, back to what? Anyone can kill you in this game. Anyone. It doesn't matter. In Halo, if you were skilled, the complete and terrible new person would not beat you. Ever. At all. Never in your life. And I got killed by the AA-12 guy camping. You know, just fun and dandy for me. So you know what? I'm like, screw it. I don't want to. I don't care. I'm just playing for kill death now. And it's... I've never done this before in my life. This game has made me resort to doing something I despise greatly. <sighs> so, well, anyways, let me think. Yeah, essentially now I camp the next four minutes up in this room, get another chopper gunner, just with new tubes, because it's essentially impossible. They're throwing smokes to try and take the flag. I, I can either see you where you're coming, or I can see your smoke. I don't have a gaming headset, so I have to rely on my eyesight and my visual clues that this game gives me as to where they are, which is why I don't do as good as third person because, well, if you can see me, then you can kill me, but odds are in normal mode, I'll see you before you'll ever see me. So anyways, what else should I talk about? Hmm. Oh yes, I'm recording in HD now. I have an HD PVR and a new computer that records in HD. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, it does not record. I don't know how to get it to record in 1080. 1080. I can not do it in 1080. I don't know how to record in widescreen with this. I'm trying to figure it out as I go along. Maybe if one of you will come up with a solution, I'll be thankful for it. So let me think. Hmm. What else? Yeah, I'm going to go back to doing the Super Mario playthroughs soon. Ah, I just, I've been busy. Junior year sucks. Balls. Massively. So yeah, they... We'll try and take the flag, and I will continue to noob tube them because it takes loads of skill to do what I'm doing. Uh, what else? Hmm. Something interesting. Yeah, it turns out my new computer actually has an express card slot, so if I manage to get a black, I can actually install and run an Intensity Black Magic card, which will let me record in 1080p, even though the Xbox doesn't really play in 1080p. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, if I can ever afford that, then I'll, you know, play in 1080p and record in 1080p. And this is something most people don't do. They don't use their Predator missiles to destroy Harriers. I know for a fact that I can get two more kills. Easily. Easily. I'm not even trying at this point. I, I, I think I'm, at several points in this game, I open up my AIM window and start chatting with my friends. It's, it's terribly easy, this game. Look at that. They throw a smoke, I see my flag disappeared. Fire! Oh, another kill. Amazing. I am so good at this game. So yeah, I may be able to record 1080p one day, but until then, if you know how to make a Hapage HD PVR record in widescreen mode, I'll, I'd love you guys forever. Also, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe this video, and yes, you are allowed to send me as much hate mail as possible, because I am ashamed of this game. I... <sighs> I'm hoping that Battlefield Bad Company 2 will be able to create, satisfy my first person desire until let's say a new Halo game comes out. And again, that damage I just took just shows you how powerful one man army in Danger Close Pro is because that Danger Close Pro Claymore almost killed me through a solid steel wall right below me. Yeah. That's powerful. So right now I'm just waiting for my Harrier to get me a couple kills, looking around. And yes, if you see that death marker, that skull and crossbone marker that one of your teammates died, and you're right by it, look around because odds are there is someone right by you and look at the minimap. I can't tell you how valuable of an asset the minimap is in this game. It saves your ass so much. People can use their earphones 
Turtle Beaches, Astros, whatever you're using to have super hearing to hear everything in this game, but in reality, just use your visual cues, man. If, they, if they're shooting, they're gonna appear as a red dot unless, of course, they're silenced. And if they're not, if they kill a, your teammate, your teammate's still gonna say that they died, and if you're right by you, you should check to see if your teammate's dead right next to you, because if so, odds are you're about to die. So yeah, Danger Close Pro making my chopper gunner even more overpowered than what it is normally. And yeah, this game is essentially over now, so I'm gonna pretty much end this here. I am Bonk. I will probably never play Modern Warfare 2 again, and I went 47-2 and two camping with this overpowered as shit class. This is mostly a test for my HDPVR. Thank you guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.